Today we're going to learn how to make a traditional bechamel sauce, but we're going to turn it into a queso dip. A bechamel sauce consists of equal parts fat and flour and liquid as well. So my ratio is one to one to one. So if I do one tablespoon of flour, one tablespoon of fat to one cup of liquid, uh, I usually end up with a pretty good sauce. Now bechamel usually has um, nutmeg in it, but we're not going to add the nutmeg this time because we're going to make it spicy. So enjoy the video. We are going to show you how to make a bechamel, but we're going to turn it into a nacho cheese dip. So we have here a half a pound of ground beef. We've already browned it and we've seasoned it really well. So what I did was I toasted up some cumin seeds and I put it in here with all my spices and I have a little blitzer and I ground them all up. So in here, I have chili, red chili flake, I have chili powder, paprika, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, and then the cumin. And then I've got a little bit of cayenne in there as well. So I mixed it all together. I made a spice blend and then I blended it in with the beef that we've already cooked. Half a pound of ground beef. Half a pound of ground beef. We're going to start with a roux. So, in addition to the fat that was left over from the beef, we're going to add one and a half tablespoons of butter. Okay, we've got it on medium high heat. We're going to melt that down and we're going to scrape all of the good stuff off of the bottom. Now we're going to add to the roux with two tablespoons of flour. A roux is equal parts flour and fat. So we're using butter and the beef fat. We're going to add the flour in here. We're going to toast it up a little bit to get rid of that, of that raw flour flavor. <clears throat> Once that cooks down for just a second and toast it up. What? Do you add the milk quite yet? Right after? Or? No, you want to cook that flavor, uh, flour down just for a little bit. Just to toast it and get that flavor out. When you are cooking a sauce, a bechamel, like we are making, it's going to require you to cook it for about 10 minutes for that flour to really cook out of it. You don't want it tasting tasty. So now we're going to add the two cups of milk. We're going to do half at a time. Okay. We're going to get that incorporated and it's going to start thickening. And then we're going to add the rest of the milk in there. And then we're going to bring that to a simmer. And we're going to let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Now that we've simmered the sauce for about 10 minutes, it's thickened slightly. And it's going to thicken even more once we have the cheese. So we're going to add two cups of cheese. We're using Monterey Jack. We're going to do Monterey Jack. Yes, I think that's a very good melty stringy cheese. So we're going to add all of that cheese in. And we're going to let the heat from the sauce melt it. You don't want to boil cheese. And then while she does that, I'm going to add a little bit of tapatio in it. We're going to spice it up just slightly. And then we're going to give it a taste and see if we need salt. This is where we season it at. We're going to wait till this melts. And then I'm going to pour it into the dish after we taste it. Wow, that melts it nicely. So I'm going to stick my little spoon in here to taste it. It's very hot. Mm. Creamy, meaty. Needs some more spice, needs some more salt. And that's going to be really good. Okay. A little bit of salt. I'll get a fresh spoon. Give it a little more swirl there. There you go. We had a lot of tapatio right in the middle there. Oh, that's nice and cheesy, yummy. Mm. That's good. All right, so let's pour this into our serving dish. We've got some chips here, and we're going to have a snack. Mm, yum. That's going to thicken upon standing as it cooks. 